What is up guys and welcome back to more God of War. So I restarted the game today, which is why I am back inside the safe zone. I've messed around with a lot of my skills and some of my armor and things like that as well. I feel like I've been forgetting a lot because I've been playing a lot of other things at the moment. I've been desperately trying to finish Far Cry 5 because I feel like I've been dragging it on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So I'll be super happy when that is finished. Um, I'm feeling a little bit down today, to be honest with you. Um, I have been super excited to hear about a house and I put an offer in and unfortunately it got outbid today. So what that means is someone offered more and obviously they're gonna accept the higher offer. So a little bit bummed out. Obviously you don't really know what's gonna happen until it happens. Hey buddy. Um, he's not even attacking me, so... Fair enough. <laughs> Fair, all right. If he's just chilling out there, no bother. Um, so yeah, it's, I'm feeling a little bit crappy. So I decided to go out and buy myself a Rick and Morty hoodie. It looks a lot cooler on the back side <laughs> rather than the front. I was really sad actually because I thought the logo that's on the back was on the front and that was the only reason why I bought it. So I was like, oh, never mind. You uh, didn't happen to find that whetstone. We found no whetstone. This dagger belongs to the reaver who took it. They took most of the good stuff. Oh, well, here, take this in exchange for the dagger. Activate while aiming to slow down time. The dagger you brought me is quite interesting. An artless design, but the construction is sound. Where in the temple did you find this? In a reaver's back. Oh. Oh. He mentioned he was part of a larger clan. Maybe they took the whetstone? Quite possibly. I know I've seen this design before. Okay, so let me have a look at this. The River of Knives. Uh, that's the Ice Shards. Is it this one? I'm still coming to grips with this game. I don't care if I'm on par, whatever, because I'm not playing it consistently, which is why I'm trying to get some other games finished. I'm getting confused extremely quickly when it comes to how to actually play this game. So I'm really excited to finish up some of the older series on my channel so that I can focus solely on God of War. But one of the main reasons I slowed down this series is because I had a lot of people saying that they didn't really have time to play it, unfortunately. And they wanted to play it first before they then watched me play it, which I totally understand. All right, my boy, let's go. I wanna go play with the serpent. I'm so glad I'm out of that last section because that was uh, hard as nails. I don't like being not very good at a game as well. And at the moment- So what story were you going to tell? I ain't good at this. <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Yeah, you sound like Steve Joe's mom. Straight to the punchline without making it interesting. <laughs> Missing out all the juicy bits in between. Right, so I don't think it's got anything to do with this. I am well aware that there's a lot to do in this place. Uh, I'm gonna go around here. Hello, what is this? Oh, the witch's cave. This is creepy. Okay, so we need to find the witch's house. Now, I don't mind going back and doing side quests at some point. Just at the moment, because I don't feel very confident playing this game just now. Um, I'd quite like to go back and do the side quests at another time, if they're gonna be as hard as that last one was, because that was insanely hard. And I thought I was never going to get through it. 
Although I got a funny feeling I just walked straight past that boss. He, I mean, he wasn't acting like he was interested in me, so I was just gonna leave him to it. Power to him, you know? If he's happy chilling, then who am I to stop the chill? Uh, can I get off here? Ha! There we go. Pocket boy! Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. Knew it. <laughs> Why is that there? Odd. I don't want to use it. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft. And we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Um, so about the head. I was under the impression that he had a Scottish... Scottish, oh my god. Scottish accent, like yours truly. But some of you actually said that you thought he was Another Irish. Room. The witch's turtle must be standing up. Uh oh, bitch, oh, please! Get off the edge! hate those things. What is in here? Oh, we gotta see. What is this? I bet this will lead out. Lead out to what? I don't know if I want to touch it just yet when I can go across this. Atreus, to me. Do as you're told, boy. Uh, I went down there before. See though, so I've come up there. There's a thingy my bobber here. No. Dead. But that looks like it leads Oh, what is that? Strange. Let's see what this is. does more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. Oh, sweet! It also sweet. contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire realm? Um, maybe? Maybe not right now. I'm kind of busy just now. So I've been down there. You know what, let's just go up here for a second and then I'm sure I will find something. I just wanted to maybe get all the health things. Uh oh. Yeah, look, there's that down there. Uh, she was up there last time, was she not? So I'm not coming up this way now. There's a way to go down here. The last time I went down here was just to fight some enemies. What is that? Okay, so it's not anything to do with that. So maybe I do just need to go up 
Because it's giving me the option to go up, not there. Here, I think. Well, when in doubt, um... Aha! Uh -huh. yeah. Turn back AC. Guess the gods are welcome here. But I'm welcome here, right? <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. Oh! I was like, who are you talking to? And then I realized. Damn it, I need one of those things to put in there. Can I find one of those at some point, I wonder? Okay, we have made it How's back it going, to the Charlie? tree. Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Charlie! Hey, boy! Uh -oh. Ready yourself! Don't fuck with Charlie! Noise. Psycho! Back off! Don't fuck with Charlie. Oh shit! Watch out! Need things upon all who trespass. So, what to everyone who trespasses? Is we all gonna die? You're all going to die down here. What does it say? Sir. Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hang. But what about Charlie? Is Charlie our friend still? Charlie! Father, she is here! It is so good to see you again! I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. 
This is like Wolfenstein. What the hell? <laughs> That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mimir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? Real young boy. But now. And the head? <laughs> You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, head, I will ask. Fair enough. Oh my god! Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. I'm sorry, but he is Scottish-ish. <laughs> through and through, okay? Scottish, right? That's just what I say. It's been a long time. I've been saying it for a long time. Um, go to the serpent's horn. Oh, good! So now I have a talking head between my butt cheeks. Yay! So I'm sitting on his face. Why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Ramir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Yeah, it's, not it's Wolfenstein. So we are going to go talk to the big bearded thing in the sky. This is very Mimir, cool. we're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. But, 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 where is he? Why do I feel like I could have gone? You never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won. But the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. Some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to ma- Head, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. 
Finally, that horn. Yeah, the horn. Now I finally get to blow it. <laughs> well, now I at least understand why I get to blow it. Blue. I have a talking Scotsman between my butt cheeks. Good. Can we talk about? I put this? my lips to the horn. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about saying then. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world suffering absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. Alright, wish me luck. He's gonna eat your face. Members me. Why are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Uh, Mokuno Untunku. Closely now, we need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one on the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Oh god, Scottish people and their reputation of being Wait, drunk. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Says she. That's had uh, a couple of drinks tonight. It's just Scottish tradition. From now on, Scottish is Scottish, right? That's just how it's gonna be. Okay, so he wants me to find him a boat. This is pretty cool. Although, why can I not just have the serpent as a pet? That's the so dream. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Oh, are you now? I thought I was in control of the game. Try to tell me what to do, you little shit. Yeah, this game Which is to huge. Chisel. Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. These guys? Okie dokies. Okay, we're going underneath. Lemire, you were in the middle of a story before. How would Freya agree to marry Odin? What was in it for her? 
It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Yeah, do tell. No? no? It's nice to have some other guy, some Oof. Scottish guy, chilling out with us. You were taken from this realm too early. Oh, not this guy again. What do you want? You who walks among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig say their magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. So we can... They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. <laughs> Gulvig will reward you. Don't lie to me! You're lying! You can make me whole again. Oh well! Okay, anyway. <laughs> The poor boy, man. All he wants is his mother back. It's so sad to me. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Ready yourself, boy. Hello. What the? F Hi. How we doing? Oh, we got some side boys. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. Okie dokies! As per usual, Kratos is in a bad mood and is on his period. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. So if you did enjoy this episode, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new around here, why not subscribe? As for me, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!